Hello and welcome back to Real Moments in Life. Over the last two weeks, we've been exploring the rural villages of Koh Tang in Nepal. We've experienced some breathtaking views, eating some amazing food, talking to some crazy and awesome locals, doing some farm work and just walking around the village and experiencing something that only few people get to experience on this earth. I was privileged enough to live with this Nepali family for the past week and today is my last day. So come along with me today as I show you the house and a whole heap of different things in the village. So let's go. Okay, so g'day and good morning guys. Today is my last day in the village and I thought what a better way to show you guys a tour of a local rural Nepali kitchen. So we have outside here, which is where they wash um, all the food, they wash the dishes. This water here is constantly running. And then here you can see we've got a few little things like potatoes, we've got some plates, we've got some cooking utensils, someone's shoes, some soap. And yeah, it's a little bit random. Um, and then here is a base of rocks and then the water overflows here and it gets drained into this little hole and then if we come through here namaste uncle how are you <laughs> if we come through here this water comes through the bamboo and then gets drained out uh, into the village so yeah and right here they're just uh, cleaning up all of these leaves that are on the ground as you can see all this bit here is clean and then this bit's a bit messy but yeah they're just burning all of that that's one of the ways where they get rid of the rubbish they burn because there's no rubbish collection here so in here they have all wood stacked up now this is so important especially for the winter to keep warm and for cooking now all of this wood here is newly collected wood so they just easily come and grab this but then you have the fresh stacked wood here which is like backup because you can never not have enough wood you can run out very quickly and then just here, they actually have a walking stick and that is naturally crafted straight from the tree. So let's go inside the kitchen now. So here is the main kitchen. Now there's wood above me, which is like a roof. And then above this roof is tin. Now here's the doors, nice wooden doors. And then we have the fire here, which is where everything's cooked. Um, so Amma will cook, that's the uh, pressure cooker, so she'll cook rice. This one here, she'll cook dal, and this one here, she'll uh, fry chicken. Now if we go up here, this and these are actually dried meat. Okay, so this meat was actually hung up here, not cooked, and then the smoke from the fire every day cooks this meat, and then it'll get chopped up into thin slices and then put in different dishes like noodles or with rice and then in here we can see different mats and different like cages to carry things so all of the smoke here dries and makes all of the utensils here really hard and makes it last longer so for example this mat here this has been smoked and dried out and this mat is now really really strong so here we have like some noodles um, we've got some cabbage, some other cooking utensils. Uh, we've got some vegetables and stuff here. Here we've got leek. Um, this is ghee. That's almost empty, but that's our local um, butter. And then we've got some salt and other things. So yeah, really, really cool. And then in here, what's in here, Meg? Uh, it's got alcohol. Alcohol. Here as well. They've actually built a little hide hole where you can easily grab some wood if you're feeling lazy to go out the door. In the living room, we've got um, some beds here and we've got all cutlery here as well and uh, two more beds. And we've got Amma making uh, some corn here as well. This is a corn grinder and at the moment she's just separating the big pieces of corn here and then into the fine dust. And that will be used as well for a feed and to make some special drinks that they drink here. So yeah, and then here we've got a slingshot for <laughs> birds or foxes. 
and then here we've got the best guard dog in the world. <laughs> Hello, darling. We also have uh, Choo Choo, grandfather over here. Uh, he collected some wood yesterday by himself. God bless him. So uh, Choo Choo here, he's a very old man. He just got all of this wood this morning. I saw him leave early this morning. And he's got all this wood. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. So much. <laughs> Good job. Wow. And this will be used for the fire for his home to cook some meals. Wow, very good. <laughs> I think he's almost 90 years old. And then also up here, they have uh, other beds and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys my room. I've got, it's a little bit messy, don't mind the mess. Uh, we've got a nice, thick uh, blanket, which is very, very important, especially when it's cold. And then here we've got a shelf, I've got my toothpaste and different things. I've got a hook here for some of my clothes. And yeah, this is a nice little private uh, cozy room. I've got uh, the, uh, the scarf here that I got given when I arrived and these flowers as well. So beautiful, Meg's sister, uh, little Boiny. She made, she spent two days making all of these flowers. Absolutely insane. And then out here, I've got a window as well but I've just shut that off because it does get cold. All of this wood here, Meg's dad cut down and thinly sliced himself. So all of this, uh, the cost for this house, the main costs were only the tin for the roof and the wires for the electricity because Meg's dad can actually build all of this himself uh, using uh, mud, using wood, and all of the local methods. So the only real cost was the tin and uh, all of the wires here, for example, like this wire here uh, for the electricity. And then here, they actually have a chin-up bar. Let's see if I can do a one-handed chin-up for you guys. I don't know how strong I am. No, I can't do it. <laughs> so yeah. Looks very good, Amma. Very nice. Wow. Okay, so right now we're at Meg's uh, grandma's house and uh, she's about to perform a song and dance called Bing Lai Lo. Kom. Bin Lai Lo. Kom Kom. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, how good was that? So that is called uh, Bin Laio Kom Kom, and that is through a bamboo, uh, like bamboo and a, like a string, right? Yeah. Like bamboo and a string and pulling it, and then she's using, is she using her tongue as well? Or like, yeah, yeah like a bit of both. It's really cool. I've never seen anything like that instrument. Okay, so the old man that I just showed you who was uh, bringing the sticks, this behind me is actually his wife's grave, which I had no idea. Um, Meg was just telling me about that. I thought it was respectively for the chickens or something, but Meg was saying that it was his wife's grave. Now, I've never seen a grave like that before, so it's really fascinating, isn't it? So he's built this right next to his house so you know he can pay respects to his wife every day. Wow. Okay, so Meg here is just preparing the uh, chicken. In the local way. In the local way. So this is what you'll use to get all the feathers off, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're skinning it. Yeah. Right, so will you eat the feet? 
Mm. Okay. All right, that makes sense. So he's skinning this right now, so the feet will be eaten. Mm -hmm. And then after this, he'll uh, get all the feathers off as well. Oh, it's easy as that. <laughs> Jeez, that's cool. I told you, this wow. is the easiest way. Oh, that's so quick. Mm -hmm. That was only in there for like five seconds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. And then he'll just repeat this process for the whole bird. That's crazy. Is it hot? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now Meg's doing the finishing touches, just getting all the last little bits off. Okay, so now with the fire, Meg's just singeing off all the last hairs. And uh, this will also give a little crispiness to the outside of the chicken as well. Okay, so what uh, Meg and I are doing right now is just peeling off all of this skin here. Because we don't like it. Right? Yeah, because uh, mm. trying to cook that won't be good. So yeah, yeah we got to peel all this off. Okay, so Meg's just cutting these bits off here and preparing the rest of the chicken. It's pulling out the stomach and all of the insides mm. through the chicken's throat all the way into the insides, pulling it out from the top. <laughs> Looks good, bro. Yeah. Okay, so now all the chicken's cut up into small pieces. We've got oil here in the pan, and then this will get all fried up. Okay, so right now, Meg and I are going uh, to find some potatoes and onions uh, in his uh, village here, and we'll use that to put into the uh, chicken as well to cook that. Okay, so right now Meg's getting some lemongrass for the seasoning. Wow. Oh, that's a clever way to seal it. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Wow, so in here is dal. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Wow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is all nice. So we got rice there, we got dal, and the chicken is there. And we'll eat all of this in a sec. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's give this a taste. Chicken, dal, a little bit of rice. This is what we prepared. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Now that is what local chicken is all about. How good is that? So yeah, that is how local chicken is prepared in rural Nepal. You wanna see something here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Whoa. Look. Crazy, dude. I like this way by wind. So we're just in Meg's kitchen at the moment, cooking something up. It's raining outside, there's rain coming through the sides here. It's just crazy. Wow. <laughs> Just a little. Oh shit. Okay, so right now it's storming outside. So we're going to have a little rest for like half an hour, an hour. This is my room. Wow. Wow. You feel better, bro. When you wake up uh, tomorrow, you feel better. Where did the oil come from? Where's the oil from? Oh, this is traditional uh, local oil. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, we raise ourselves. Yeah, yeah. And after then we uh, filter ourselves. Wow. Just for this, bro. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, so that's the upper side of the here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this side. Uh, yeah. This area. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there's so many. So here I've got with me some local uh, rural village milk. Milk straight from the cow and just heated. So let's taste this. Mmm, really fresh, really creamy. Wow. So it's mixed with cow and buffalo, actually. So, mmm, esto mitosa. Very, very good. Okay. Done your What are you doing, Singy? Okay, so I'm now uh, leaving the village here and uh, we have to say our goodbyes. I got this one. Danyavad Boini. Thank you. Wow. Danyavad Ama. I also got this one just because of you. I'm very really thankful to you. Wow, what a journey it's been. We've been welcomed into the village and now we're uh, being farewelled from the village. So wow, this is so beautiful. It's been a great week, hasn't it, mate? Such a good experience. And, uh, <laughs> oh, Danyavad, Danyavad. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Namaste. 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 Okay, she gave, she wow. gave us uh, blessings. Blessing of flowers and uh, some money here as well. Wow. So, um, <coughs> actually, Jack, this yeah. is our my mother <laughs> blessing to both of us, and I'm very thankful to my family. And I got this one just because of Jack. <laughs> so, I love my village. So, I would just like to start off by saying uh, from the moment Meg and I walked into the village, we were blessed with your love. And it was so hot. Uh, Ani, you guys have looked after us so well. And uh, I came here thinking that Meg and I would have to cook every day and, and do these things, but we're being treated like, yeah. like kings. Yeah. Given today something that I've never experienced so highly. I, I bless your family and I hope for a uh, good future, good crops, good prosperity, happiness. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. 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 And we're off. Bye bye. 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 Well, guys, I'm uh, feeling a little bit emotional actually. Uh, Amma and uncle and bye and boini were like my family for this uh for this week um being away from my family so long it's well yeah it's uh it's been good it's been really good yeah i didn't think i'd actually get this uh emotional <clears throat> but it's been such a good trip and uh thanks to meg for setting all this up <laughs> he's he's the man i hope you enjoyed the last four or five videos uh, I've put my heart and soul into editing them. These videos mean a lot to me. Uh, very important videos, actually. Um, these are th these videos that I made are, are projects that I'm really passionate about. So I hope you've liked them. Uh, if you're watching, <coughs> you're watching for the first time, please like and subscribe. Go back and watch the other videos. And yeah, thank you so much. As always, guys. Keep it real. Can I Cheers. tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now? Pack Boys. our bags and get in <laughs> that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Hello, go Just drive to the Hello, open go. air Hello. Yeah, Hello. the Hello. countryside is so pretty Hello. With the wind <laughs> blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only 
Love to